Welcome to Couch Talk with Nina. So grab your Diet Coke and your favorite blanket and let's get started. Or, you know, if you want a coffee or a tea or, or a glass of wine, whatever tickles your fancy, let's just get down, talk, and be honest, right? So if you want an honest opinion from a hillbilly, there's a subscribe button somewhere down in this area. Hit it and you will hear my opinion. If you want to leave me something that you want to hear me talk about, because I'm going to do a lot of complaining. I will do a whole lot of complaining because a lot of things get on my nerves. And I'll share my opinions about things. I'll do reviews, whatever I can do from this couch, because this is Couch Talk with Nina, right? And it will all be honest, because I am a very honest person. I'm very upfront, very honest. So, let's get started with the first thing. And we all know that Christmas is around the corner, because we are bombarded in the stores, right? After the 4th of July with Christmas. And so we know it's Halloween. So the Christmas photos are right around the corner. And... We, you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's not just the normal Santa Claus photos. It's the the footie pajamas. Everybody's in the same footie pajamas. Okay, number one, how do you get every single one in the same size? Because you've got from a two-year-old to a 90-year-old. How do you get everybody in the same exact thing? Like, how? I just really want to know. If you do it, Please let me know in the comments how you get matching outfits for everybody. Because I just, I really want to know. Okay, so that's what I'm talking And the matching sweaters, you know, with this, you know, the red and white with the little reindeer or the ugly sweaters. You know what I'm talking about. So, I am have mixed opinions about this. So, let me know what you think, okay? Leave it in the comments what your opinion is. I really would like to know. Or if you do it, let me know how you get it done. Okay, here's my first opinion. I see the picture, and I'm thinking, who is this family, and where can I buy one? I want to take your family home like a little puppy. I'm sorry, but I do. I want to take you home and play with you. Because you seem like the happiest family in the world, and like you have no problems, and like life is perfect, and you, you're really not from West Virginia, or Virginia, where most of my friends are from. Uh... You, you live in the North Pole. You, like, you are from the, you are the North Pole. That's who you are. Like, how do you, how do you get it done? I mean, really, please let me know. Like, I don't know how you would even convince your husband, let alone your teenagers, to do this, okay? So, and then I've got the second opinion is laughter. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're I mean, I really don't know. I live in the stick shop. I'm, it's, there's an, it's an hour away to the first Walmart. And I don't know. This is things I, I don't, this is what I know. Like, I live in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how people think. I really don't. Unless you live, like, in the sticks with me. And trust me, I don't think anybody here would do it. But, Cause we can't pull it off. We are redneck hillbillies, you know. Like if I would get in front of my Christmas tree, my little torn up twenty year old Christmas tree in my footy pajamas, it would just look like a redneck mess, like it is. But so, how do you get it done? Number one, I mean, I really. And then you know, do you do you threaten people's lives? Okay, cause I'm gonna give you a scenario. Like if my husband. Okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to do the footy pajamas, okay? I'm going to say, Roman, let me tell you something. You put on those footy pajamas, and if you do not get them on, like right now, like two seconds ago, they needed to be on two minutes ago. Put them on right now, or I am stabbing you in the eye with a fork. I promise you you will be stabbed in the eye with a fork. And if you do not smile from ear to ear and act like you are the happiest man on the face of this planet, and you better look like you just won the lottery, or you will never know what it is like to be a man again. And that will be a promise that is not a threat. That would be how I would have to pull off the Christmas photo. 
So tell me how you get it done because I really don't know. I mean, is your family really that happy? And you know, I think you have to be on a certain level to pull that off. Like, I'm a redneck hillbilly kind of, you know, I'm like not the worst. Like, there are levels of redneck hillbillies. I'm probably here on the redneck hillbilly, like, I'm middle ways, you know. I have squirrels on my wall, y'all. I'm a hillbilly. And over on this side is a woman with a rifle, okay? So, I'm not normal. I'm not, like I said, this is my world. Okay, so, you know, I do think you have to be on a certain level to pull those off. I don't think everybody can do it. Like, you have to be a little fancy. Like, unless you get it professionally done and they do all your hair and they do your makeup and, you know... You, they have like the Christmas tree in the studio. You may be able to pull it off that way. But if you do it in your own home, um, that's rednecks. No, we're not pulling it off. I'm sorry. You know, I would never pull it off. Like, it would be one of those, like, people wouldn't take it serious. And I really don't know if you're trying to make it look serious or if you're trying to do it as a joke. Because I don't know how to take it. I really don't. I don't know whether to laugh or to take you home and play with you like a puppy because you're the perfect family in the world. And I want that. You know, I really, I, I don't know. I feel like an idiot. You know, like, I am so in the sticks that I feel like, like, you know, I don't know anything about the world. But I do. I mean, I do, but I feel like that I don't because, you know, I don't know things like, are they doing this seriously? Or are they doing this as a joke? I don't know whether the laugh were to say, oh, wow, y'all look great. Because you do. You do. You look amazing. You look like a million bucks. Like, I wish I could look that good. I wish I could get in front of the Christmas tree and be like, we are the happiest family in the world. But, you know, you're not a normal family. Like, you live on the North Pole. You're not from West Virginia or Virginia. You are from the North Pole or aliens, Okay. Like, this is not, you know, normal. <laughs> Most people can't pull that off. Like, you know, I do have a friend, you know, a personal friend. Not, you know, we, we used to be really good friends that does uh, family portraits. And they just look amazing. And I know what kind of person she is. Like, she, <laughs> I'm just going to say that she portrays on Facebook and in real life a person that she really isn't i mean she's more down to earth than you would think like you know she's got two sets of friends basically she's got the redneck hillbilly friends and she's she's got the high society friends so she you know she's got two different not saying she's got two different personalities she's not a bad person she's an amazing person but you know she does she downs herself down for us and then when she gets around her higher society people then she's like you know, she tries to be down to earth when she's around me. Well, I used to be. And, but they do that. They do the family portraits and they look amazing and they look like the happiest family in the world. But I know the truth. I know really what goes on behind the smiles and the pretty pajamas. And I know they're not the happiest family in the world. And, they can try to pull that off, but there are some people that knows the truth. I'm sure her higher society family doesn't, her friends doesn't know the truth, but I do. Like, unless things have changed in the last couple of years, you know, you're about as big as a mess as I am, you know. I'm a mess, and I will admit that I'm a mess. So... This is my opinion on it. You know, I don't know whether to take him home like a puppy or laugh like a crazy hyena. Yeah, I just don't know. What is your opinion? Please subscribe. This is my first time, so if it wasn't that great, I'm sorry. Hopefully, I do better next time. Let me know what you think about the footy pajamas. Let me know if you've done it before because I really, honestly, I'm an idiot. I will be the first to admit I am an idiot and I need to know how you do it. Number one, how do you pull that off? 
Like, how do you get your children and your husband to agree to do that with a smile? Okay, number two, you know, are you doing it seriously or is it for laughter? Because I don't laugh at first. I laugh when I think about how you got your family to do it because I picture you threatening their lives. I laugh when I think about that. But when I first see it, I think, oh, this is a perfect family. So let me know what you're really doing it for. Bye, everybody. Sorry, this has been the longest video ever. Bye. See y'all.